nice to be back vlogging because I have just been off track with a lot of things. I don't know, last week was just such a weird week for me. It was a full moon. I'll get more into it later, but I didn't really vlog last week. It's because my videos got kind of like backtracked and then it was just a weird week. Anyways, so a couple of my videos were not up to date. Like I didn't want to vlog so that I could be up to date because I honestly don't like posting too much in like the past. I like being up to date with my videos so you guys are seeing me more real time. So I'm back on my real-time videos, which is really nice And I prefer that just because I feel like I hate posting videos that I filmed weeks ago Because I feel like it doesn't represent me at the present stage of life You know what I mean? Even though it's just a few weeks Anyways, I actually had such a good sleep last night I feel really good this morning On the weekend, I got like 12 hours of sleep So it was amazing Just on one night, like amazing So I definitely caught up on my sleep on the weekend Because when I let my body sleep in, it just sleeps in Like it does not wake up after eight hours of sleep <laughs> it's tuesday today happy beginning of the week i'm gonna as usual get ready for the gym look at how big guys they're getting so big where's Tupi? where's your sister i swear Binu knows when i start vlogging and she just comes like she likes the camera this girl Tupi, not so much not sure where she is you always come to me when i'm vlogging it's probably because she hears me actually she hears my voice and then you come back they love cuddling. When we sleep, they need to be near us. Like, both of the girls cuddle me so much in my arms, up of my head. They just love being near us when we sleep, which is the cutest thing. They don't like to be necessarily near Joel because he is always moving in his sleep. I'm, like, more of a quiet sleeper. Anyways, I'm gonna start getting ready for the gym. It's pouring rain today. It's, like, such a gloomy day. And it's also been like that for the past all last week. And I feel like that's also a reason why I just wasn't feeling it. We've been spoiled with sunny weather. And then all of a sudden it just turned to rain and it just hasn't been making me feel as good, obviously. So it's been weird. It's been weird. But I'm going to try to make the most of it and still be happy. But yeah, at least it's like super green outside. I find that like when it rains in the summer or the spring, it's like so beautiful because the greenery is so nice that it really makes it stand out in the rain. I've been trying to just like romanticize, you know, my life recently and point out beautiful things. Let's get ready for the gym because we're already running a bit late, aren't we? I'm just excited to be vlogging for you guys again in more like real time. Good morning. Guys, we're transitioning the kittens onto wet food. And Miss Binu. Okay, first of all, they eat so much. Like, I didn't know kittens eat that much. But, wow, they eat so much. Like, they are always constantly eating. I bought a bag of food and I swear it only lasted a week because they are just constantly munching. And they're supposed to eat a lot though because they need extra nutrients since they are growing so it's normal but i was just shocked and i'm like they eat a lot but anyways we're trying to transition them to wet food and be new she will go steal two piece wet food because she loves it but we have to make sure that they're both eating like an equal portion so it's kind of tough we need to like watch them when we eat and it's just funny that's the thing, yeah, about having two cats is if you're trying to limit what they eat, like you have to make sure that they're both eating separately and they're not eating each other's foods. Because right now we're just letting them graze since they are kittens and you're not supposed to restrict kittens. But I'm like, they're kind of giving little tummies. I don't know if that's normal. I feel like that is normal. At least like they're, you know, you know, they're healthy. They're getting their nutrients in. But they're getting little tummies, little pouches. The girls are definitely not underweight. <laughs> I'm running late today, a little bit late. I slept in an extra snooze because I thought Joel was also sleeping in. So I was, but it turns out he wasn't. <laughs> oh my God, that was fast. You're eating. We need to monitor them. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'm gonna head to the gym. Cheers to Tuesday, in the beginning of the week. Let's go work out.
don't got no money back calling me splurge Drop me jump right off the curb Bet this run fly like a bird Spin on the first and the third Solid, I'm keeping my word Take me my equal, I don't know what you heard Crack up the phone, I swear Keep me a stick of that bird I'm about to pause and serve yeah. Fucking this bitch like a perm yeah. Smack from the back of a perm yeah. Ice, the bird uh, Shitting on all you little turds Can't take that dick with your turn In my own way we can't burn so I'm just cooking up breakfast right now. I just got back from the gym. I still haven't showered or anything yet, but I had such a good sauna session today. Like I was sweating. I feel like sometimes for some reason when I go in the sauna, sometimes it just doesn't heat up properly or heat up enough before I go in. And so I don't sweat as much, but today, oh my gosh, I was like actually drenched. So I always make sure to obviously bring a towel and you know, wipe myself off or else I'm literally like, it looks like I just took a shower. Yeah, I love the sauna. It's so important to detox. Like I just feel so good afterwards. Make sure you're sweating like a couple of times a week because it's so important for detoxification and that's that's why you sweat and or part of the reason why you sweat is a, it's a really good detox. And I just feel amazing after the sauna and I feel like it really helps my immune system because it detoxifies me and you just have to make sure to stay super hydrated though if you do go in a sauna because they are very dehydrating. Your body is exuding water. It feels so, so, so good after the weekend to be back into, in my routine. Yesterday, I didn't go to the gym or anything. I did do a lot of editing yesterday, got a video up, but I didn't do a full day. Like I didn't go to the gym, I didn't do a full morning routine just because yesterday was a holiday for the states i always take states holidays off because that's where my management is and so in terms of getting work things done it just works out instead of me taking like only canadian holidays off so yeah it's really good and it feels good to be back in the grind of things i have a really busy month coming up for june and i just am really honestly excited about it because i find when i'm busier i time manage better and that leads me to feeling better and being less stressed. It's like this weird thing in my brain. When I have less things to do and I'm less busy, I don't time manage as well and I don't get as many things done as I do when I'm just like super busy. It's like this weird reverse psychology. Yeah, it's so weird. It's actually so gloomy today. It's pouring rain. Like I had to turn the kitchen lights on usually at this time in the morning. It's so bright and I don't need to turn any lights on to like illuminate the kitchen. The difference between when it's a gloomy day and when it's a sunny day, the brightness that comes in this house is like night and day like i don't even realize it until it's like i get one and then the other the weather calls for rain all week so and for the next couple weeks i'm gonna try to make the most of it because i know this is probably gonna be one of the last couple weeks that it is gonna be raining before summer so not gonna complain too much about it gonna make the most of it but anyways i'm going to just finish up breakfast eat and then i'm actually gonna wash my hair today i put some oil on my ends last night to make sure that I can get some moisture in before I wash it. Let me know your guys' favorite hair masks and stuff because I feel like I don't have a good one. So let me know. Right now I'm just basically using like oil and then shampoo and conditioner. Like my hair routine is not that extravagant. I'm gonna finish up breakfast now. It's just almost done cooking. You want screen time? Toby. Oh, she wants the toy. That's what she wants. Guys, look at how cute this pink cheetah toy is. I got it at the pet store. Toby. Girl, it's finally not camera shy today. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> they literally claw the sides of our couches, but <laughs> I don't really care because they're so cute. How can you care? <laughs> oh, she's up there. Oh, there she comes. I knew she was coming in. Guys, look at how big they are. I can't even handle it. Girls are getting so big, especially Binu. She's growing like a weed. This girl is so much bigger than Be than to be. <laughs> This is so funny. They both want it. We recently got this autom self-automated litter box from Pet Snowy. I will link it down below on Amazon because they sent it to me. We can't use it until they're six months or three and a half pounds because it won't detect them if they're under the weight. But look at how aesthetic it is. It matches my living room to a T, like the colors. I love it so much. And it's going to be so nice having like a self-cleaning litter box, especially when you have two cats because it'll always keep it super, super clean. So I will like give you guys a full review when I actually could use it when they're a bit bigger. But just by the aesthetic, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Hey guys, so I just did my hair. I showered, washed my hair, and I just 
blow dried it with my Dyson and I just didn't do really much, nothing special. I just kind of brushed it out with the brush comb and then I just kind of curled the ends up a bit. So it has a little bit of dimension, but I didn't want to do anything crazy like curl my hair today. Anyway, so now I'm going to do my makeup because Tally and I are recording the podcast today. So I'm just getting myself ready, but Drunk Elephant, I showed you guys this in one of my last videos. They sent me their Be Goldie Bright Drops, so I wanted to try them, but I already have my moisturizer on, so I'm just going to mix them in with it. I'm just going to put like a few... Just like a few drops they made my face super glowy and my face feels not really really nice on the podcast today we're going to be talking about lessons that we've learned in our 20s and so kind of throughout the morning and like all day today I, i've been thinking and kind of brainstorming what to say and what kind of advice i want to give and what kind of lessons i've learned in my 20s because now that i'm 24 i feel like i have some wisdom I guess to give and it's funny like when I was younger I used to think that being in your 20s was so old it's funny how like your age is never how you perceive it to be I feel like I'm always just gonna kind of feel like a kid it's not that I feel like an actual kid like I definitely feel like an adult now but at the same time I know I'm gonna look back at myself right now when I'm like 35 and I'm gonna be like girl you were a kid back then you know what I mean so I'm just trying to not label myself as super old because when I am actually in the older digits I know I'm gonna be like girl no you were not old I have written down like 15 things so far because obviously i want to remember them so many things i don't know if i'm going to be able to touch on them all in the podcast because i have a lot of things written down and also tally is writing stuff down so we'll see how many we're going to be able to get through but i'm really excited for this episode because yeah i feel like i've been through quite a bit within especially like the past few years when i was in my 20s and so i've definitely like grown a lot as a person i've changed a lot like i'm just a completely different person than i was at 17 18 that's a good thing you know it's a good thing because that just means you're evolving and growing as long as you're becoming a better happier person and that really is all that matters so yeah anyways i'm excited to film this episode it was so funny because i was supposed to edit this week's podcast episode this weekend like it was supposed to go up yesterday and Tally texted me yesterday morning and she's like hey girl just wondering like when the podcast is going up and i'm like oh my god i completely forgot about it it's not like i forgot we had a podcast i just forgot that i had to edit it and i knew that i had to edit it over the weekend because i always leave it for the weekend since like i'm pretty busy editing my videos during the week i knew i had to do it and it was like in the back of my mind and i knew on the weekend there was something that i needed to do that i couldn't remember but i'm like oh it's probably fine but it was the podcast episode like i completely forgot to edit it so yeah we usually post on mondays it's like halfway down i still need to edit the rest but i'm probably going to end up posting that tomorrow morning instead of tonight because i feel like most people listen to podcasts in the morning but i just found it funny how i just completely forgot to edit it like that is so unlike me i'm usually very much like remember what i have to do and i'm on top of everything i guess my i just had a brain fart or something i just feel like last week was so weird it was a full moon and i honestly think that kind of affected me because things just felt really weird i don't know i feel like i was very much tuning into myself more which is a good thing i was more so just like thinking about what i want for my life like i was almost having like a little crisis not really but in a good way besides materialistic things and numbers and financial goals like what do i want for myself in life what is going to make me the most fulfilled despite all of those materialistic societal things i was even thinking like i would kind of be down to go live off grid in a little cabin the most important thing to me is like being around my loved ones and like that's the only thing that would stop me from doing that is like i really like to have a sense of community and so i wouldn't necessarily just go move in the middle of nowhere if i didn't have like community near me especially when joel and i want to have like kids down the road we definitely want to be near family and friends the idea of just having my own our own land living kind of in an oasis and like buying a house soon really makes me excited i feel like i'd really be fulfilled with that i just really want at the end of the day to live a happy and a peaceful life but still kind of document my journey and vlog and do filmmaking and i kind of in the future want to start transitioning my vlogs and my youtube videos to more of like a cinematic video i have like a vision for it in my head i don't exactly know how to describe it or put it into words for you guys maybe i'll still keep a vlog channel and then make another or just post cinematic and then just regular vlogs but i don't know i just have like a greater vision and i love filmmaking i love 
video editing i feel like i can be doing a lot more and it would make me feel a lot more creatively fulfilled and yeah when it really comes down to it materialistic items are not what are, are going to make me feel fulfilled i've been kind of diving inwards this week and being like what will make me feel fulfilled in my life going forward and how can i attain that over the weekend joel and i this kind of sparked it actually because last weekend joel and i watched avatar and i haven't watched avatar in full i don't think ever like when it came out i was like nine years old so i don't even remember it so joel and i were like why don't we watch avatar and that really just sparked a lot of things in my head like if you guys have not watched avatar in a while like the first one i would really suggest to go watch it because it really opened my eyes to a lot of things and i know it's like a fictional story but i feel like there's a real deeper meaning behind it i feel like we're here and we're supposed to be like super in tune with like our earth and nature but us as humans as a society we're doing the opposite of that and we're kind of like destructing our earth as we speak and it's really really sad and it's making me think what really matters in life all this is happening because of money you know and i realized that like all my goals over the past few years have mostly been like financial career materialistic and it's like what do i want aside from that and how can i like create a sustainable happy life regardless of anything so anyways that's where my brain has been all last week and i just wasn't vlogging and it's just like really soaking everything in and it felt good to also take a little bit of a break it's made me more inspired yeah anyways i know this sounds like a lot and really weird and random yeah those are just like my thoughts recently but anyways i'm gonna finish getting myself ready and i will talk to you guys in a bit Talia's gonna be here pretty soon so gotta get ready and then yeah i'll catch up with you guys in a bit i am telling you guys nothing fixes or cures my dehydration slash thirst sparkling water over ice okay just hold on Oh my gosh, I just can't wait to drink this right now. I'm so thirsty. With lemon juice, this is just 100% organic, pure, squeezed lemons in here. So it makes it super, super, super easy to make this little cocktail. Oh my gosh. This is the best thing ever, I promise. Oh my gosh. I needed that. I also made it so lemony. I love it. I love the lemon. It's so good. Mm. I just can't. It's so good. Oh, I am so tired. I'm so tired today. I was just finishing the podcast, like editing it, and a tired spell hit me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this needs to be done within the matter of five minutes, or I'm gonna fall asleep at this desk. But yeah, I have been go, go, go today, which has been actually really good. Like I said, I honestly thrive off of being busy. I really do. So after I got ready for the podcast, we recorded. We were also just kind of planning the Instagram for that because we haven't really gotten it started yet. And then I had to finish last week's episode as I said, I forgot to edit it. So I was editing that for the rest of the day up until now, and it's already 8.30. Like, <laughs> I should be going to bed in half an hour, but I'm just getting to relaxing now because I just had dinner an hour and a half ago. Cleaned up that, went back to editing, finally got it uploaded or scheduled for tomorrow. I feel really good, honestly, after today. I feel super productive. I feel like every single minute of the day was maximized, and my screen time and my phone is probably like 10 minutes, honestly, because I was not on it much today at all. But it feels really good. Like, I love being productive. I love being busy, and it just keeps me in a really good flow of things. I didn't really get to have a sweet treat after dinner today. We honestly had such a mishmash for dinner because I need to go grocery shopping. We had like tuna with nacho chips. Like it was so random, but we just don't really have it much food right now. The sun peaked out a bit an hour or two ago, but it's gone again. But it was so cute when it peeked out. I'm like, hey girl, missed you. Missed you but look how green it is behind me it's so beautiful me and joel actually went to go view a house this weekend past weekend since our lease is coming to an end i don't know i love an excuse to just go look at places because i love interior design i love looking at new builds and houses and stuff i don't know just to get inspiration inspiration for the future and let's say we walk in a house and we're like oh my gosh like we need this then we would move but honestly the house that we saw was very nice and stuff but it wasn't nice enough for us to actually move out of this place because i love 
I love, love, love our place right now. It's like perfect for us, perfect size. I love how it faces this. Love the windows in here. And so it would take a lot for us to actually move out of here. Anyways, it's just fun since technically we do have the ability to move. Why not look at places just, you know, for my own benefit? I don't know if that's just me, but I also love looking on Pinterest for house decor and stuff and saving it in like a my boards i just i'm obsessed and i love also looking at facebook marketplace and looking at listings on there of houses but i don't think i would love being a real estate agent like i would love to just get like a not a broken down house but a fixable has potential type of house and then depending on what it looks like if it has some character obviously keep like the old you know character of the house but kind of redo it and renovate it and make it really really nice i would love to do that and just design it oh my gosh that would be like so fun and i know it's so much work to do that and i don't have any of those types of skills but that would be fun like if i really set my mind to it and did it that would be super fun that's definitely something in the future that i would love to look into doing if we were let's say renting a place we had somewhere to live while renovating the house because i would definitely want a place to live while the renovations are going on i wouldn't want to be you know living in a construction zone so that would definitely be something to consider if we didn't want to buy like a brand new like nice house we could do it ourselves i want to have a big backyard i want to live we want to live on an oasis like have a garden i want to learn to garden and maybe have chickens like oh that's a dream that's a dream like i literally want my own little farm oasis land because if you guys didn't know i actually grew up my family's house is on a couple acres and we had chickens we had ducks my dad has a garden and it was just i used to do all that growing up and so i don't know it's just like the most peaceful thing ever and i love it and it's just something so satisfying about getting to maintain your own property and making it look beautiful it's just so rewarding and fulfilling we'll see we'll see what the future holds but but that's what my heart is feeling right now i honestly don't want like to live like a city girl la life i'd love to go visit la and live that life for a couple weeks but i don't think i could do that full time like i definitely see myself living a quiet life in the future like a very quiet life but anyways i am going to head up to bed now in a bit I think I'm just going to read a little bit and then I get to get a package from Amazon, which I will unbox quickly for you guys before I go up. But then I'm heading to bed because I should be going to bed at 9 since I wake up at 5, like my first alarm rings at 5. But I find that pretty impossible nowadays because by the time I actually get into bed, it's around like already past 9. Because it's just, look, look how bright it is right now and it's 8.30. It's just so hard to get to bed early during these months. But I love it. not complaining about the long daylight hours. It just makes it that much harder to like get into bed and go to sleep when it's literally bright outside. It's so funny because the other night I realized I didn't even see any darkness because I went to bed before the sun fully set and then I woke up after the sun rose and then I didn't wake up in the middle of the night. So I literally didn't see any darkness. It was the weirdest thing ever. And I was a little bit like taken back by it. I'm like, did I just take a nap? Like I was confused when I, when I woke up. I wasn't sure if it was the morning or if it was just five minutes later. But it wasn't deep, in fact, the morning. Anyways, okay. I'm gonna read a bit and then we'll go up upstairs to bed because it's getting light and I, I need my eight hours of sleep. I really do. Even though I've been getting like seven and a half. Not, she's not ideal. Little Amazon haul before I go to bed. First things first, got this TheraBreath mouthwash. This is always linked in my Amazon storefront. This is my favorite mouthwash ever because it's just natural and it does such a good job. And this is the one I love using. I will link her down below if I remember. If not, she'll be in my Amazon storefront. And then I also got some dish soap because Joel and I are running out. Actually, we have none left there's none left we don't have dish soap so i needed it asap so i literally ordered this last night and it looks like it's gonna smell so good mm, yep it does and it's like a natural one eco max this was only like four dollars and she arrived to me the next day so that's a big 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 sleigh just a little you know grown-up thing and then really random but we got cat scissors up uh, did I just say cat scissors? I mean cat nail clippers because the girl's nails are getting so long So we need to just cut them a little bit so they don't you know destroy our skin and Yeah, so that's a little Amazon haul um, Just like little you know things that I needed around the house Let's go to bed and read more As 
you guys know, I've been reading The 5 a.m. Club by Robert Sharma. Own your morning, elevate your life. I'm currently like halfway through the book. Oops. Yeah, basically exactly halfway, maybe a bit past. And it's a lot different than I thought so far. It's a fiction, but self-help fiction. So he tells his like wisdom through a story if that makes sense but i actually like it i got a comment on my video saying that they didn't like his writing style but i actually like it in a way because i feel like it keeps me really entertained since it is telling a story and i've never read a self-help book that tells a story like this so i've been liking it so far but i'll give you guys the full review when it's done but he hasn't really even got in to what you should be doing at 5 a.m in the morning like he's touched on it and he said that this is what can really like elevate your life and you know help you succeed in life it's like waking up early and owning your morning but i'm already halfway to the book and he hasn't gotten into the nitty gritty yet so i think it's coming soon in the book but i'm just surprised that it hasn't like dove into it yet but yeah since i have been really limiting my social media use still recently like i don't really scroll on tiktok anymore or instagram and i haven't for the past two weeks now i've been reading so much more and just staying off my phone has been so nice like especially not scrolling before bed is so nice but yeah i read this in the sauna at the gym and it's so refreshing having a good book to read and my mind has never really felt clearer you know maybe that's why i've been having these weird revelations because i've been off social media so it's really making me turn inwards and think i didn't even realize and make that correlation oh my god that's definitely why which is insane and really good but yeah overall so far i would recommend this book but let me finish it i'll give you guys a full review let me know what i should read after this i was thinking about the miracle morning but that also is a morning book so maybe i should read something a bit different i don't know leave your recommendations down below but anyways i'm gonna head spend now it's 9 30 so i want to get at least seven and a half hours i will see you guys tomorrow morning i'm gonna get some sleep love you guys good night wanted to pop in here to say thank you so much to squarespace for being an amazing sponsor of this channel so if you guys have never heard of them squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to help them really stand out and succeed online and they make it super easy to build the most aesthetic best functioning website ever so it's perfect for beginners or if you're already managing a growing brand they really make it easy to engage with your audience sell anything from products to content to time all in one place and all on your terms so you could start a completely personalized website with their new guide design system squarespace blueprint you could choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up tailored to your brand or your business and optimized for every device also you can easily launch your website and get discovered with their integrated optimized seo tools so you could show up more often to more people and grow the way that you want they offer very flexible payments so they make your checkout system super seamless for your customers they accept everything from credit cards to paypal to apple pay and in eligible countries they also offer customers the option Option to buy now and pay later. They also make it super easy to manage your clients and invoicing from vetting leads to receiving payment via invoices. It's all in one streamlined, customizable workflow. So go check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Michaela Bento to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Today, I just got myself ready for the gym and I felt like I didn't sleep last night. I did the night was too short. I went to bed and then I woke up and no time had passed in between. Um I don't feel like bone broth this morning. Like I don't know why. I just don't feel like it. So I'm not gonna have it. I might make some lemon water or something right now. I feel like I already had too much lemon water yesterday actually. <laughs> I had like five glasses and that's no exaggeration not that many but oh my gosh it was so good sometimes I just wake up and I don't want to consume anything like I just don't feel like it and I just get icked out you know because it's pretty early so the odds are my body doesn't want to eat that's why I usually do have bone broth because eating anything else in the morning really does make me sick I saw this post about me and people were saying how I like I'm super restrictive and I don't eat and whatever but like that is like the farthest thing from true trust me I eat like I eat but my body just does not agree with that in the morning so I just can't have a huge meal right when I wake up it needs to be something small and then I have a big breakfast later don't speak about something you don't know 
yeah so that's the vibe this morning are you playing with my jacket miss little pino they were cuddling me last night it was so cute and then they were cuddling each other with me hmm how do i stop you from going okay go play they're playing right now ow oh claws just dug into my skin she's trying to get the string on my jacket and it indeed in fact is broken thank you for that girls <laughs> they chewed it off it's like torn girl okay no more hurting me okay anyways we're gonna leave the house let's go out we got our names on the guest list i can't forget your name always had it on a necklace she said no phone who this as soon as i text it then i saw a pretty little face standing right by the exit I said it's funny that you're here cause I know this really ain't your thing She said you got that right and I call will arrive in 15 She said it's 1235 but she still got work in the morning I ain't trying to kill the vibe, you can see it in my face, I'm torn Just like magic, they're playing our song from way just whipped up quick little breakfast i just made one egg i already ate it while i was cooking the sausages but i get these from costco they're the grass-fed no antibiotic sausages or whatever this might sound really weird but i love cutting them up in like little pieces like bite-sized pieces and then drizzling maple syrup on top it's so good i put maple syrup on almost everything breakfast related but i swear if you guys have never tried maple syrup on sausages you're missing out in life like you really are that's gonna be my little breakfast for today the sauna always ruins my hair like my hair has now gotten frizzy because of the sauna because i put my hair up in a bun i did it with a scrunchie so that hopefully it wouldn't you know ruin it but it still did like it's not as silky smooth as when i blow dried it i feel like i need to get another keratin treatment but i'm hesitant to just because it's so many like chemicals and stuff and obviously that's not good but oh i'm just on the fence about it like i can really notice my hair now has not gotten a keratin treatment in a long time i think it's been like a year since i got my last one she needs to be done again like i just noticed the difference in my hair texture when i have the keratin treatment in it's like the best thing easiest thing in the world to manage and it's just amazing and when i go outside my hair doesn't get affected by humidity and yeah if you guys don't know my natural hair is like super frizzy and super curly i had literal ringlets when i was younger i've tried the curly hairstyles i've tried everything i personally just don't like my curly hair on myself so i have been getting keratin treatments and they've been like i said so good but every single time i get them done it's like borderline 800 dollars because i have a lot of hair and it's expensive like the product itself is expensive and also it takes like three hours to do so it's a very expensive procedure <laughs> procedure but at the same time i justify it because i'm like i don't dye my hair i cut my hair every few months which is only like 50 bucks so in the grand scheme of things i don't spend much money at all on my hair so if i were to be let's say dyeing it that's probably like 300 dollars every three months so if you add that up it's like the price of a keratin treatment so it makes sense in the end it's not like i'm doing anything out of the ordinary you know what i mean it's just more of a bulk sum at once but anyways that's my rant i do really want to get it again and i'm probably going to get it before the summer because that would be perfect time so that i could just like go swimming um get my hair wet wash my hair and not have to worry about it drying all wonky and i could just let it air dry and it's just like the best liberating feeling ever so if you guys are in the vancouver area and are interested in getting a character treatment i will leave my hairstylist that i go to for the treatment down below and let her know that i sent you she's awesome she has such a good job i will link her instagram and stuff down below where you can message her on anyways that's the tea for today i'm gonna eat breakfast and then like shower and everything
got back home. We got a good haul. We got a very, very good haul. So I'm gonna show you guys because honestly, I didn't, I'm trying to remember even what I got. So the first thing that I got is some dishware. <laughs> I brought this home and Joel was like, yeah, we totally needed more. When we own a house one day, I'm going to allocate one of our pantries or closets or whatever to a... <laughs> Joel's looking at me right now like, what are you going to do? I'm going to allocate it to collecting dishware because I'm obsessed... <laughs> He's laughing at me. I'm obsessed with collecting dishware and just finding really pretty like bowls and plates and having like a little closet full of dishware is would be so much fun so anyways i gotta start my collection sometime and i've already started but i just am obsessed with these little bowls and i love like blue and white and these like really seem handmade they're really good quality and they're all a bit different so i love these so much i got five of them slay so the first pair of clothing that i got are these adidas kind of like what are these called floofy pants big track pants type vibe i got these in the boys sec no not the boys section i got them in the men's small section and i have a feeling these are going to be just like perfectly fitting they have a jawstring so i can tighten the waist and these are just the perfect pair of track pants to wear with like a tank top during the summer even and i've been looking for more pants like this they're so cute and they're in really, really good shape and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with them. I feel like I never find good pants thrifting, so this was a good find. And then I got this little kind of leopard printed little shirt. It's like a loose men's shirt. My vision for this is wearing it over a bikini in the summer because you guys know I'm obsessed with cheetah print right now and leopard is just so in and this would look so cute over a bikini with a skirt or shorts or something. Just a nice little cover up for the beach or for what, wherever. And then I got this black little mini dress it has lace on the top and lace on the bottom and i don't really have a black little slip dress like this and i feel like it's something a staple like i'm missing in my wardrobe so when i saw this i was actually really excited because this would be just be so cute to throw on whenever for a little fancy dinner dress it up with jewelry and heels or something like a little pair of kitten heels but yeah super happy about this find and then i got these red shorts because as you guys know boy shorts sport shorts are coming in the summer for the girls they are on my pinterest feed everywhere and i just really like these red pair i got them are these women's i actually got them in the women's section but if you go in the little boy section they're very easy to find as well i just didn't find any there but these are umbro and i love the color red i can play tennis in these wear a tank top with these and i'm just like so sick of my shorts from all the previous summers and i want to buy like cute new ones so i was super happy and i've been super into the color red recently so these are a sleigh and then super super basic but i just got this fruit of the loom um crew neck it has a really good neckline really good you know fitting form i hate crew necks with like a bad neckline and when they're when they don't fit right i need them to fit perfectly and this one is literally perfect i don't have a good fitting black crew neck because my other one is just like super big and it not it doesn't cinch i actually did get a nice black crew neck but i accidentally shrunk it in the wash so that one doesn't fit me anymore so this is going to be my new black staple crew neck and then last piece of clothing that i got is this little tank top how freaking cute is she she has two little bows here if you guys can see and the lace i don't know i found this in the lingerie section and it, whenever you guys go thrifting make sure to check the lingerie section because there's such cute things in there like tank tops i got the slip dress from there as well but yeah i love it this would just be so cute with like a black mini skirt going out in the summer so slay and i feel like it's just different like you won't be able to find an exact copy of something like this because it's probably super old and she's adorable their sunglass section was popping popping off today so i got three pairs um i got i'm not gonna try them on but i got these little ones cute and i was like almost manifesting new sunglasses and i got these two these are very similar these are black these are brown but i couldn't decide so i just got them both they're giving they're giving so if you guys ever go thrifting go look at the sunglass section but make sure they're not like super cheap because you want to make sure that they have like uv protection so you can always take them to like the mall or something to an eyeglass store to get them tested but i have a feeling these are all uv protected because they all have a brand name on them and it's not like they're from you know shein or something so they should be good to go anyways yeah that's another thing is be careful buying super cheap sunglasses off of shein or websites like that because half of the time they're not going to have uv protection and that will destroy your eyes 
if you wear them in the sun. So make sure that your sunglasses are good quality and have UV protection. Anyways, that is the haul. I feel like that was super successful and I got a lot of things that I wanted. I could totally go way more ham in like the dishware section, but we do have limited space. So I just couldn't refrain from these little bowls because they're so perfect. But yeah, that was a haul. I feel like I did good. We did good. And Madison also got a couple things too. But it's about like five o'clock right now. So I'm going to, or almost five, I'm going to make dinner for myself and just like kind of chillax for the night. I didn't get to grocery shopping. We stopped at Costco literally for like five minutes after thrifting because I just needed to get toilet paper. I'll just do a grocery shop next next vlog so tomorrow it's fine it'll she'll get done but anyways that's the plan for right now i'm gonna just go check my emails quickly because i was out and then maybe make dinner i'm not really that hungry right now because we did get bubble tea and that kind of filled me up earlier so i don't know I'm, I'm just gonna wait to eat until i get like hungry i'm in like a really weird mood for what i want for food right now usually dinner you know you want something salty but i'm not craving that right now i, I want something sweet i have such a sweet tooth it's so bad i think what i'm craving for dinner is a yogurt bowl and maybe i'll add the protein powder into the yogurt to make it more proteinous i know that's not a word but if you guys didn't already know i have my own dictionary so add it to the list but this is greek yogurt i i think i told you guys but i've been trying to implement dairy again because i think it's been like maybe even eight months now which is actually insane because time flies but a while ago i completely cut out dairy and gluten from my diet because i was getting super bad eczema flares and it was just honestly horrible and so i was like i need to change something and i heard that if you cut out dairy and gluten it's really going to reduce and also processed sugar and basically just all processed foods, dairy, gluten. So all I was really eating during that time was whole foods, super healthy. I'm lucky enough to be able to do that and still not develop a bad relationship with food because I have never had like any problems revolving around food. I've never had an eating disorder before. So I'm very thankful to have a good relationship with food in general where I can do these more restrictive diets and like still be okay and still eat whatever i want again you know what i mean so like i was saying before i did see someone on the internet and i know people have a lot to say and a lot of the things that people say aren't truthful but yeah i don't mean to come off on this channel like telling you guys you need to restrict certain foods or buy certain foods i just really am an advocate and i promote healthy eating and you know if you can buying more organic foods because i know it's better and less processed foods because i know it's better but at the end of the day obviously you could do what you want and i'm just obviously if i believe that i'm going to be an advocate for it so i don't know i just think that what you put in your body is so important but that's going to look different for everybody because we all are made up a little bit different and certain things that work for me may not work for you vice versa and so i feel like in terms of eating you really just got to do what's best for you because there's so many diets out there that i feel like do not work for everybody because they're not tailored to you right so you have to do what's best for you anyway so i cut out dairy and gluten completely after two months of doing that my eczema got so much better i stopped having flares and it was honestly amazing i continued doing that for honestly up until i would say about a month ago i reintroduced dairy and I still haven't really been having gluten. Also, I did cut out oats because oats are a huge skin trigger for me. So when I have them, literally the next day or hours later, my skin will blow up. So I have not been having oats. That's, I feel like, just something that I'm going to have to maybe live without until I really heal my gut or insides where I won't react to them. So... I don't eat oats and I don't eat gluten right now. I give myself a little grace here and there. For example, I will have chicken strips since that's technically like they're coated in gluten. Since it's such a small amount, it doesn't affect me, so it's okay. I'm not as restrictive as I was within those first two months that I was doing the diet, but I feel like the whole reason why it really worked is because I was doing it like to a T and then now I can kind of wean myself off of it a bit since I feel like I really did a lot of healing and my skin has been so much better and I haven't been getting flare-ups like honestly at all. So anyways, that being said, I'm reintroducing dairy a bit and so I haven't been going crazy with it but I have been slowly reintroducing it because I do love me some, you know, cheese from time to time, some cream, some whipped cream, yogurt, whatever. And it's a lot easier to get your protein in when you're having dairy, so that's also a thing. So that's been my vibe. And for dinner, I don't know why, I'm just craving a yogurt bowl. So I think I'm literally just gonna have 
this Greek yogurt mixed with protein powder and then maybe put some granola on top. So I love also putting peanut butter in it, chocolate peanut butter, so good. So let's make that and that'll be our, our weird dinner tonight because Joel already had dinner before I got home. He just made himself like a little tuna melt thing. Yeah, I just, I'm not hungry for that. Like I'm really not. So let's do a little high protein yogurt bowl. Here's the final creation. Greek yogurt with protein powder, granola. This is almond granola and then some peanut butter. So this is what I feel like. So I'm gonna have her. It looks so good. It's kind of like dinner and dessert combined. So slay. Hi, baby girl. Are you watching hockey with us? Yeah. Chunky, chunky girl. Just kidding, you're very healthy. You're so big. Guys, she's getting so much more big than Tupi. I need to show you the difference. But do you see the size difference between them? I don't know if it's like very visible on camera, but I swear Binu is like so much bigger than her. It's actually insane. She's gonna be definitely a smaller girl than Binu. But that's okay. That's cute. I am gonna go up now and start getting ready for bed because it's like already basically eight o'clock, which is insane. But that yogurt bowl satiated me for the night so that's great i'm just gonna bring actually a couple of toilet paper rolls up because we've been out and i just picked this one up from costco today i actually feel so like i'm just holding toilet paper i am feeling so tired because i've been going to bed at like 9 30 10 so that means i'm getting less than eight hours of sleep every night which is so bad and my body needs more so i'm gonna try to go to bed by like nine on the nose tonight tonight so at least i can get like a full eight hours of sleep anyways clearly i need to just get my butt up off the couch and go to sleep because since it's so beautiful out, I just want to like spend time in the living room. This is how bright it is at 8 o'clock. I love it, but when you're trying to go to bed early, it's not the best. This is our bedroom right now. <laughs> so imagine trying to go to bed like this. Like, how is that even possible? We also don't have blackout shades. So when we shut the blinds and then the curtains, it's not fully blackout whatsoever because these curtains are just sheer. I didn't want to put blackout curtains in this room because I really like the look of these sheer ones. But... <laughs> That just means that in the summer, it's gonna be bright when we go to bed, but I guess we do really go to bed early So it's on us, but yeah, this is how bright it is And this is what I mean by it gets hard to go to bed early in the summer because it's just so beautiful I have to take my earrings out because my hole was literally bleeding Like I had to take a Kleenex to it and it hurts so badly So I'm just gonna take it easy on the earrings for the next couple days and then in a few days will be fine <laughs> to reinsert my earrings, but maybe it's like those earrings I wear from Amazon. Could be those, maybe I should stop wearing them. Anyways, I'm gonna wash my face now and then head to bed. I just wash my face, brush my teeth. I have never gone into using fully really a gua sha, like I've used it on and off for a bit, but I've never fully like used a gua sha every day but i actually prefer doing it with my fingers so i'll show you guys what i've been doing and i feel like it really actually works and snatches me up for the night so i just take like a little bit of oil or just make sure that your face is you know hydrated because you want you know to be able to glide well i literally just take my knuckles like that and go like this and it, i find that the gua sha doing this it kind of i don't know it kind of hurts my jaw because it's so like not formed to my jaw but with your fingers you can really like get in there i feel like it does a better job i mean i don't know like i'm not no expert but i have just been like after my skincare routine i've just been doing this apparently by massaging your face it's like natural botox i don't know if you guys have heard this but i've seen some people like on instagram and stuff and tiktok and whatever that have actually like reversed their aging through doing natural botox methods which is basically just massaging your muscles because basically that's what botox does it just relaxes your muscles and that's what massaging it does it works the muscles i don't know the actual science behind it so do not quote me on this i just feel like doing this and then draining it like that down my neck i don't know i feel like it does something at least so give it a try and this is like i don't know why i just feel like it's a lot easier than gua sha because you're doing two sides at once and i just literally do this like 20 times after my skincare routine and i don't know i feel like i notice a difference and you can also like bring it up 
and do your upper part of your face too. There's this girl on Instagram actually that does like 10 minute face massages that you could do every single day that does give you that natural Botox, which I feel like is uh, could be totally accurate. Like I believe in natural remedies and stuff. And so I definitely believe that, you know, you can be really snatching your face by just massaging it. That's why like there's some facial lists that you can go to that literally just will massage your face. We're trying to be preventative around here. Anyways, I am gonna go to bed. 8.57. How? You're actually kidding me. I just put away my laundry and time flies. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. You guys mean the absolute world to me. Like every single comment means the world. Every single view on this video means the world to me. And I just really want to say that I'm so thankful for you guys watching this right now. And I love you so much. Even though I can't necessarily see you, I could feel your energy and... I just love you guys so much and thank you for tuning into my life and watching my vlogs because it truly means the world that I get to do this as a job and I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I'm very, very extremely grateful. I don't say it enough. I love to chat with you guys and I love to get to know you guys and engage with you in the comments. So leave me a little message in the comments and we can chat. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a like for long videos. If you like long videos, give it a like. Good night, guys. I will see you in my next vlog, which I'm starting tomorrow. So do not miss it. And I hope you have the best week, day, night, morning, ever. See you in my next one.